We picked a fantastic time to leave the city. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to point what, that out. Rush hour? Rush hour, yeah, that was good, good thinking. Is your kid in school? I mean, I, I, I feel like she'd be at school today, so. the app and reopen it and yeah. see if that'll... Um, I just hit the button. Yeah, you hit the... There's one button on that. Can you please hit well, the Well, there's yeah. a one button, but there's a bunch of little you things on it. You don't have to give me a play-by-play. Play. Can you please yeah. just do it for no me? Because problem. I'm driving and I can't do it for myself. Okay, here we go. Pressing the button, pulling up the map. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow is now. The future at my fingertips. Um, I can't... It's not working. Can you call her, please? Uh, just double check the address. I could call her, yeah, that would be great. We can say, hey, here, we're two smart guys who have studied uh, science our whole lives. Who we're, we're educated, and we're going to help you figure out your, your disturbance okay. problem. But we don't know how to use a smartphone, so we got lost on the way here. I don't think that's gonna look. Good. I, I don't. I don't really care what we do at this point. Okay. But I'm not gonna continue driving on this road. Sure. If we're going the wrong way. Your your phone doesn't work. You want this? Yeah. Give me that. Thank you. Uh, hey, uh, Ricky. Oh, hey. How are you? Nice to meet you. Who's this? Ashlyn. Hi there, Ashlyn. My name's Ross. Oh, you did, did you? What kind of noises? Um, you guys want to come inside? Oh, yeah. yeah. We got the house in a shore sale. So, um, me and Ashlyn and my mom. It was a lot cheaper than all the other houses on the block, which was great financially, but it kind of has me wondering why it was so cheap. Um, shortly after that, my, my mom passed. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Had your mother ever experienced anything, um, no strange in the house? Not that I know of. I mean, she never mentioned anything, so I, I mean, I'm not sure. We just like to find, and more often than not, we like to find a natural explanation for things. What's funny is that studies show that actually 85% of people believe in things like this, with, with women more likely you know, to believe. But one in five have actually said that they, they witnessed something, seen something themselves. And our brains are so just primed by that sort of pop culture, the films and the movies about monsters and things like that, it's, it's really easy to believe sometimes. Before we get started, we'd like to sort of create a, a timetable and ask you a few questions about the, the series of events that you've experienced. Well, it first started with tapping and knocking sounds, um, doors open that we knew that we had closed, and uh, things would go missing. Like, uh, can you give us a, an example of what has gone missing? Yeah, uh, my necklace that my mom got me. Um, I got up one morning and I went to put it on. I wear it every day. Mm -hmm. And it was gone and I thought that you had taken it as a joke, right? And I asked her and she said that she hadn't. And so I just started looking around because obviously in the hustle and bustle of life you can misplace things. Sure. And I'm sure that I had done that. Except I went to bed, and the next morning I woke up, and it was sitting on my nightstand. Do you mind if I get to that? Oh, sure. I thought that Ashlyn was messing with me, or <laughs> sleepwalking even, because I used to do that as a kid. So did I. Really? Yeah. Um, well, things just started happening that we couldn't really explain. No one could explain it. One day in my room... Um, I was humming, and I heard a faint voice from the corner bent. It sounded like it was humming the same song that I was, even though it wasn't. It was somewhat different. Can you describe the voice at all? I mean, was it a male voice, a female voice? I, I never really thought of that, actually. I, can't, I couldn't tell you if it was either. 
Okay. Was it accompanied by maybe a funny kind of smell? <laughs> yes. Uh, actually, some of the, thing, the things that we've kind of gone through is accompanied by a really terribly rank smell that I would never want to smell again, and I don't really know how to describe it. Okay. But that day I sat in my room, and I was terrified to move or breathe, and I, I didn't know what to do, and I was trying to get it, I guess, to make another sound, and nothing ever happened. At first, I didn't want to acknowledge it, not in front of Ashlyn. I wasn't really sure what we were seeing or hearing was real, and I, I would see or hear something, or she would, but it never happened together. And then it started happening together. We would hear something or see a door close or something, and that's really scary. Had either of you ever experienced anything like this before you moved here? Never. I had stuff coming to my room before at night, mm -hmm. and sometimes I close my eyes and mm -hmm. I pretend I'm sleeping, and it goes away. When we spoke earlier, you mentioned that you had taken a, a video on your phone? Yes. Well, I noticed that the front porch light was on, and I didn't turn it on. And then I started hearing noises, so I went out to see if there was anyone out there, and I didn't see anything. So I came back inside, and this is what I found. I mean, could it have just been a windy night? Oh, no, it wasn't that windy. Plus, the door frame's really heavy. Or the door is. That's damaged. Yeah. Religious background? Uh, my mom is a Lutheran. My dad's Catholic. I don't. I don't really practice either. Are there any drugs in the house? <laughs> Day cool is the hardest thing we have. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure he actually thinks that it's grandma. I mean, I don't even know if I believe in that. But if it was her, then I just, I just want her to be at peace. I think you may have misunderstood me on the phone. We wouldn't know how to do anything like that. We're just here to record and to perhaps capture some of the things that you've been experiencing and talking about. So we also like to look at environmental factors, which are things that you could be responding to without even knowing that you're responding to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so think of the Earth like a giant magnet. It has moving electrons that create these invisible magnetic fields, and they extend through air, through water. I mean, they're going through you and I right now, out into space, etc. So anything like a power line, a kitchen appliance, a computer, they all give off a fairly high level of electromagnetic energy. So that being said, when I leave this room, the levels aren't decreasing. They're actually increasing. I mean, in the kitchen, we weren't getting readings of over 1.8 milligauss. And in here, I mean, I'm getting readings of like three, four, I mean, up 17 milligauss. I mean... Experts don't even recommend prolonged exposures to over two and a half. In some studies, electromagnetic fields appear to stimulate the temporal lobe. And if the fluctuations are strong enough, and if you have the right physiology, a person can become sensitive to that. And they can feel fear. They can feel like they're being touched, uh, suffer seizures and hallucinations. And in some extreme cases, People have even said that they've seen physical apparitions. Okay, so we've already seen the computer slash living room. Right. The bulbs keep coming out. I keep replacing them, but okay. I had someone come in to look at it. And this is Ashlyn's bathroom, right? You can go into your room and show them your room. Oh. This is nice. Ashlyn's room. She is the real artist. That was my favorite. <laughs> The flowers, yeah. Yeah, come on, lady, let's show them grandma's room. Hey. 
Who's this? Patrick. Patrick? Hey there, Patrick. How's it going? Hmm. He's Twins. <laughs> it's, it's really funny, Ricky. I like his hair. He needs a little haircut, doesn't he? Okay, <laughs> Ashlyn, can you put Patrick up and go get ready for bed? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's probably Patrick's bedtime too, right? No kidding. So we actually found Patrick in the garage when we moved in, uh -huh. and obviously she wanted to keep him. I was going to throw him in the dumpster. She wanted to keep him. So here he is, uh -huh. and I think that it is a girl doll wearing boy's clothes, and her hair is been uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell her. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Let's just see if it's safe. This is my room mm -hmm. with the attached bath slash hideaway slash sanctuary. Mm -hmm. That is the event. This guy right here? Yeah. Do you mind if I take a Oh, like please. A okay, I'll cut it. Thank you. It's a vent. <laughs> it is a vent. I'm saying on the door there. What? The little white Oh! Uh, well, the it's an alarm okay. when we're first in here. Um, we sleep with the doors closed and locked, and I would wake up to it being open. So I installed these alarms on all the doors, and they go off when we open it. Oh, so. that's smart. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. May I? Uh, oh, try? oh, yeah, yeah, sure. It is effective. It is. Yeah. And it hasn't happened since the door hasn't opened since we've installed these. Really? It hasn't yeah. opened? Okay. What? Do you hear that? Is this the kind of thing you've been hearing? Yeah. Kind of a scratchy sound? Sometimes I don't even know if I'm hearing anything. I can hear this. What do you think, some kind of animal? Yeah, it sounds like it. I, I can go up there and check if you'd like me to. Yeah, yeah, I can go up there and check. Pop on up there. No entryways, no pellets, nothing. What we do is we hear the same things during the day, but at night we assign a different meaning. It could have been any number of things, okay? None of them supernatural. Listen, we agree. I mean, you, you've you experienced some strange things in this house. But while we have been here, we haven't personally seen anything that would indicate an anomalous disturbance in the home. Having said that, we would like to take this a step further. We are going to give you some video equipment that you can set up. I will provide it for you. Um, and just, you can leave it running uh, when you leave. And then also your daily routines, just what you do throughout the day. Just leave it running the whole time and perhaps we can capture something and explain the sorts of things you've been talking about. There is something happening in this house. There is.
that one was sitting right here. And it fell once, mm -hmm. twice, and then a third time. This one didn't fall, but it did move. So three fell, one move. I mean, the shelves look pretty sturdy. It's it's this is relatively old, but nothing's warped or overly damaged. There's not a ton of space on those shelves. No, There's but... enough for a picture frame. Right, right. It's a little dusty. Well, you caught me clean here. <laughs> no, no judgment here. There's a little bit of damage back here in the back, but this is this is in where they fell. You said this was your grandmother? Or your great great grandmother. Oh, it is kind of dusty. <laughs> you had to put the camera on the head on the desk here. We, we apologize. I guess I've been a little preoccupied with other things happening. No, of sure. course we understand. I don't know. It's, be it's beautiful. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah. We're sorry your pictures fell. That's pretty strange. Which one is this? This is. That's the one that fell three times in a row. This is your great grandma. Yeah. These are the same frame. Yeah, these are yeah. the same. Yeah, careful. The I don't want. I don't want to touch the actual picture. We're looking for something called convergence. It's like audio and visual, physical evidence. So we're not just looking at one blurry photograph. And the question, though, is can we even substantiate these things through technology? Because it's it's kind of a scientific gray area. She lives down the block. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a great so, neighborhood. Oh, it is. We, lo we love it here. Oh. But, um, can I see how I look? Oh. <laughs> I got a little windblown. Oh, no. no. We, no all, like look at, we all look windblown. It's cool that you're doing this. Oh, yeah. yeah I it's thought a it would be project. a fun Yeah. yeah that's going to be neat. So, thank you, Ricky. For sure. Aaron, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. And uh, give me a call tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Let me Done. know how the video is going. Absolutely. Have okay. a good rest of your walk. Thanks. Thanks for stopping Have by. Fun. See Bye. you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, there's nothing wrong with this house. Really, it's it's really a nice place. Ashley, come help us unpack this Halloween decorations.
I mean, I guess she could have, like, put them... I don't know. I don't know if kids play... She's an interesting little girl. She could have done this. That's kind of strange. It's a little strange. It's a little strange. We know the kind of stuff that she's been reading. And if it's suggested, just the power of suggestion is strong, it would make sense if they're connected. I mean, she's got a lot of books over there on that stuff. She's got a lot of books on that stuff. I feel like this is probably the most likely explanation. Hey, Ashlyn. Just, just you and Patrick in here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Things have just been coming up missing. Sometimes they'll show back up. Most of the time they're gone, but if they do show back up, they're in a different spot from where I left them, like our clothes and your toys, right? And Gone as in outside, outside the house. Gone, gone. as in gone. Completely Disappeared. gone. Disappeared. Yeah, completely gone. But, but the weird thing is, is that the stuff that is back, I guess, is in a different location from where we've left them. Um, sure. Um, and are, are you sure that they're not being moved by someone in the house? Are you moving anything? No, we're not. When I was alone, we have two moving anything. Then I guess I'm sure. Feels like it knows the cameras are here, doesn't want to do anything in front of it. And that sounds absolutely ridiculous, but that's what it feels like. Okay. We understand that. We, we really do. We've, we've been on a lot of these investigations and we understand that not having 
Not having an explanation can sometimes be infuriating. <laughs> that is a perfect word. Right. But And we'll look at the footage again. We'll definitely go over it to make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, okay. But I don't think we do. I didn't think we did it all. And I think you and Ashlyn are going to be fine. Okay. You can trust us. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Baby, you okay? <sighs> There's gravity for you right there. <gasps> that was scary, right? That scared me. Mm, yeah, I think we're all probably a little primed at this point. <laughs> oh, yes. You okay? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, this is our life. <laughs> it's, it's your life. It's coming from? No, it's too close. It's not green, is it? Houses have noises, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Of course I know that houses have noises. Which is exactly why I think we need to bring in somebody to tell us if what we're hearing is, is creaky pipes. Okay, I am not a plumber. You are not a plumber. And I don't want to look at every inch of this house. I don't either. Okay, great. Well then, how long are we going to sit in here before we have somebody come in and say, oh, it's just creaky floorboards? We can tell if it's a couple of creaky floorboards. We don't need an expert to come in and tell us it's creaky floorboards. And what are we going to say, that we're two guys investigating a house that responds to tapping? Can you take a look at our pipes, please? For you to not want to invite in an expert in their field is beyond me. This is not significant. We need to stay here and wait for something else to happen, if something else happens. Because these taps, they're nothing. Okay. So right now I'm looking for signs of water intrusion, sagging. I wouldn't rule out, it could be the sound of the ductwork, just expanding and contracting with the change of temperature. You got a good furnace here, man. Potentially something could have gotten down in there, to the cracks, to the foundation, to the walls, even up into the attic, that's hard to say. The 
tissue pressure hammer air filter for the pipes. Is that what you heard? No, N nobody was up here to flush it. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Squirrel and a 200 pound man, that's a brilliant analogy. That's brilliant. Why would we have, why would we? What did you, wait, Trump. Well now what's the, what is this about, huh? Showing up on camera? Mm, barely. They never seem to notice. I mean, I guess there's just been so much else going on that right. I've never. That makes sense. I've never noticed dents in the fridge. Sure. Yeah. You got a dented fridge. That's my prognosis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mason, what is that? Uh, is that a blue elephant? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like him. Does he have a name? Mm-mm. No? It's actually a she. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse us. <laughs> you should have thought that. We should have thought better than, than to ask. <laughs> you, what is that? Do you smell that? Fish. Shit. We'll keep it locked. Wait, hold on. It's just grandma. Okay. Yeah.
Grab your keys. No, there's nobody out there. No. We're going back to locking our doors at night. You were scared. I was not scared. I saw your face when this started jiggling. I was startled. That, that's my startled face. That's the face I make when I'm startled. That's I was not scared. Because oh. I look like a scared face. <laughs> to me. I was startled. I was scared. We wanted to gather as much information as we could uh, so that we could create a chronological picture of your house. Mm -hmm. So we started online. We went to the archives of the clerk's, uh, the county clerk's office. Um, we found the building registered under a, it was registered in 90, uh, 1973. 1973 under a guy named Neely. He's a plumber. Yeah, he was a plumber. Neely or Neary, he was a plumber. Uh, we went ahead and we checked to see if there were any uh, alteration permits. Uh, there were no plans for reconstruction or anything like that. And Since it's records, we tried getting in touch with uh, former former owners, former neighbors. The neighbors either had no experiences that were strange or they just refused to talk to us. We checked obituaries and cross-referenced that with everybody. Mm -hmm. um, former owners, former owners. Uh, even immediate family members. Yeah. We uh, did see, we tried to check and see if there was any police reports or, or of deaths or murders in the house and and there wasn't there wasn't anything right we Good. even checked to see if there was information about the house on microfilm which that didn't turn but well, really anything it didn't turn up anything uh and then we looked into before the house was constructed yeah. uh we looked in the history of the, the right. community and the town itself there was one thing that did stand out uh, apparently down the street in 85 there were two little boys that went missing yeah. and they never found them. Okay. So. Beyond all that, we're stuck. <sighs> That's what we dug up. That's a lot of information. We realize that and we don't mean to throw it all on you. We just wanted to let you know yeah, no, what yeah. kind of progress we were making, which feels like none. Do you want to give us a try? Yeah. Let me see if you can make a movie. Come up here. This to you. Let's do it over the couch just in case. Here, grab one. Tell me. Can it rest it on your belly? Is it too heavy? Okay. Look right in here. When, can you see me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you see me now? Mm-hmm. You're wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm lousy with that thing, so maybe you can get something better than me.
I was talking to the neighbor yesterday, <clears throat> and he says to me, oh, you guys, you must have had a late night last night. And as far as I know, we went to bed early. And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, well, I was up late for a glass of water, and I, I saw you walking up there in the window. And he gestured up towards Ashlyn's room. I thought, no. And I, I said to him, I go, no, 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 that's, that's Ashlyn's room. You must have saw her. And you know what he said? He said, oh, no. This was no child. in the back. I mean, you're seeing. Yeah, I see it. Right? Play, play it again. Play it again. I, I, I mean, I, I've sat, I've sat here and I've played this a hundred times. Mm -hmm. documented case of a family that would supposedly see an apparition of a little girl walking from their daughter's bedroom to her bathroom and would disappear. They researched it, found the girl, still alive, now a woman. She grew up in that house and made the walk God knows how many times. The best they could figure is that her energy somehow left an impression on the home. And do you believe that? Maybe. No, I... Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, man. <clears throat> At this point... I don't know. I don't know. At this point, I don't really know what to think anymore. I don't really know anything about that story, though, so... No, I read I, I, I researched it, so... Mm -hmm. So there is a magazine that tests these kinds of things, and every time they bring something into the lab, it fails. Now we can't 
obviously bring this entire home into a laboratory, but we might be able to bring some type of a makeshift lab into the house. If anything is within 10 feet away from it, and it's supposed to stay like for 30 seconds. Yeah, no, it came on as soon as I turned the corner, so. Okay. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Of course. Awesome. Not so much. Not that it's going to bed right now or not, but... Um, we will in a, in a bit, I think. Yeah. Well, if you get cold or anything, there's other blankets and stuff in the hall, in the okay. closet. You can just fine. help yourself. Thanks so much. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, good night. She's really nice to bring us all this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is. Can you not breathe down my neck, please? Make sure that you're getting all the little... I am. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Do you hear that? Yeah. 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 Yeah
out there. There's nobody out there. There's nobody out here. Either. I'm sorry. There's nobody else with the key to the house. No, no, there's nobody. And you changed the locks. When you moved in, you changed the locks, yes. right? Of course I changed the locks. It was the first thing that Mom said to do, was to change the locks. Of course it changed the locks. Okay, okay. She's... She's the only other person that had a key. I call up the house and a little girl picks up. I say, hi, Ashlyn. And she just giggles. So I ask, is your mom home? Can I talk to her? I hear a click. And a few seconds later, I get a dial tone. I thought maybe I had the wrong number. So I call back and the little girl picks up again. I say, is this uh, the Gillespie residence? And she says, oh, they don't live here anymore. Giggles and hangs up. Let's get a Grab the camera. I got it. Jamie? Are you okay? What happened? I didn't turn that light on. What is it? Come here. Look. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. It's just, it's just a pair of slippers. It was... Are you okay? Yeah, it was just, it was just slippers, Jimmy. The hamper wasn't like that. You fell asleep, was it? No. I'm gonna go downstairs. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna go downstairs later. Wow, what'd you do to your arm? Look at this. Yeah. Ouch. I know, the one on my arm doesn't compare, huh? Oh my god, it looks like you hit like a car. Okay, um, I was coming downstairs and I was carrying a laundry basket and I tripped over uh, Ashlyn's doll. Oh, yikes. I very rarely yell at her, but it's getting better now.
I want that thing out of my house tonight. All right. Right now. Okay. Right now. Okay. Come on. Where did she say that she found that doll again? Do you, do you need help? I got Is it, it heavy? Is that a harpsichord or something? This is actually kind of beautiful. Yeah. I was actually going to take the uh, the whole exit of Patrick. <clears throat> Probably That's, not well. Right. That's not to think about it. Cross that bridge when we can. I feel like we'll probably play it off as a he disappeared. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll come back again. Just like everything else? Yeah. It's smart. Snakes. Catheters. <laughs> My inevitable demise in a potentially godless universe. Mm. You know. Well, on that note, Mr. Sunshine over here. <laughs> I guess I've always been, I've always been afraid of the same things that interest me. You know, the things that are unknown, the things you can't know. I guess it's kind of a form of xenophobia in a way, fear of the other. Most organisms are neophobic, which means they are afraid of things that are new and different. And usually it's because that it's in their best interest to be that way. Yeah, that, what he said. You guys. <laughs> what about you? Jesus, um... This place? Can you tell? I think it can follow you. It won't follow you. Never mind. Wouldn't that be cool to have a zoo and you could just take care and rescue all the deer?
to know this. Okay. Oh, gross. You want to get in there? <sighs> Not particularly. No, it does. I can't tell if it goes outside or if it just goes straight up into the bedrooms, but Jesus. What does that sound like? I think that there's something stuck in here. I don't know, it, it sounds like an animal. Could that be a furnace filter? You know what the, the home inspector said about furnace filters? That sounds like a voice. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Sounds like it's in pain. I'm tired. I'm tired of looking at myself. Tired of looking at yourself, um, convincing yourself that what you're hearing is a furnace filter. I'm just. Can you? I need you to stop. I need you to stop making excuses. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just worried. No, it does. No shit. And I can't tell if it goes outside or if it just goes straight up into the bedrooms, but Jesus. I think that there's something stuck. Ashlyn can't keep anything down. I check on her every 15 minutes. She's probably more sick of me checking on her than anything else. I have so many bills to pay on this place, and I have it's so much money. I've worked really hard to get here, and I don't know what to do about it, and I'm exhausted from it. I'm exhausted from it. I mean, do you have anybody that you can stay with for a day? I mean, I'm... No. And that's really sad. I'm so sorry, this is inappropriate. It's gonna be okay, okay, Jamie? Mm -hmm. It is. Get a sample before you take it off.
Show them. It's okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> we can't stay in that house. We can't stay in that house. Okay, no. She's just a little girl. 